Uh, the first one is the ring camera. And I have two different ones in my hand and I'll kind of show you the differences on them. Uh, this one here, as you can see, um, this one's a little bit smaller, okay? And I'll tell you the difference in it, but pretty much they look the same, right? Very small differences in them. This one is smaller, okay? This one is the essentially like the first generation. If you see that there, um, this is the first generation one. With these, uh, they're cheaper. They're, they run about $99 or so. Um, and you can get them on Amazon, the ring store. Um, I'll always check the, the actual site because they, they just run special sometimes. Uh, on Amazon, you can get some that are refurbished. It's totally up to you if you want to get those. They are a little bit cheaper, I believe, are about $79 or so. Um, but the reason why I like the ring camera is because uh, it gives you the ability to uh, record the comings and goings of people that are, you know, passing by or coming into your unit, okay? And it can send you notifications to your phone. This one, you can tell that it's the first generation by this little orange sticker here. And then this is like the charging part port. Uh, the cheaper ones, um, they will do the job. The only thing is that the battery kind of dies out fairly quickly and you actually have to take it off of the mounted wall, right? There's a back plate that you actually mount on the wall and it'll kind of sit up there. Um, you screw it into the mount, sit up there, and it'll sit on the outside of your door. But... Only problem is when you need to charge it, you got to take this whole thing down and charge it. They will give you the equipment to charge it. Uh, and there's the charging port. port. Okay. Small, $99. $79 to about $99. Okay. It's first generation. The other one, uh, which is a little bit thicker, right? The newer version. These, you can actually remove the front cover and a battery goes here, okay? The reason why I like these is because let's say the, the back plate is attached to, is mounted on the, the front door, right? Or on the side of the front door, the post. Um, you don't have to take this whole thing down. All you gotta do is remove the plate, remove your battery. Uh, and whenever I get these versions, right, which I have transitioned to these versions um, and switched out the, these old ones, the first generations, I get an extra battery and a charging port for the batteries. So I don't even have to wait and charge the old battery. I just take the extra battery, flip it in here, put the port, the cover back on, and it will reconnect, okay? Green camera. Um, there are other cameras that you can use. I think Blink is one of them. Um, Wise, maybe another one, or Waze or something like that. Um, there are other cheaper brand cameras, and there's nothing wrong with them. Read the reviews and see how you like them. But there are some that you actually have to connect to, like the internet inside of the unit. And I've had a friend had this happen to her. Um, so there was a uh, a cord or some type of modem or something that that the that went to the camera that had to actually be connected to the internet or plugged in inside of the house. And her guests were just unplugging it whenever they felt like it, right? And they would pretend, oh, I don't know what happened to the camera, uh, but obviously they unplugged it, okay? And so she didn't have access to see anymore. Okay, so that's why I like the ring because you literally um, create a ring account. Uh, it basically walks you through how to set this up. It is very easy. Fifth grade, you connect it to your Wi-Fi, and it walks you step by step on how to connect it. And it's connected. It's done. Nobody can do anything to disconnect it unless they like physically disconnect the internet. That's it. The guests know where these things are, even the noise monitors, where are they located, right? Let them know it's not recording you. We cannot hear your voice. We cannot hear your conversation. It measures the noise in the space, okay? 
So make sure you have that in your listing. Safety and security. I put it in my house rules because, again, uh, so that they know. Right. And then also so they don't tamper with it. Right. If you're tam I've literally had a guy rip this off the, the wall. So if they tamper with it, what's going to happen if they tamper with it? If you tamper with it, there's going to be a fee involved. OK. If you're not trying to have a party or do something you're not supposed to, there's no reason why my camera cannot be on the front door. <laughs> OK. And then I also put in the other things to know. So I hope that was helpful. I'll see you guys in the next.